Topic, when Title 42 expires next month, what is the plan for the 18,000 migrants a day that are going to cross? Do you want them to get jobs here? Is there something else that you want these 18,000 a day to be doing? I don't know where you're basing your specific numbers on, Peter, but what I would tell you... Uh, I've got it right here. Earlier this week, the department gave reporters an estimate that up to 18,000 migrants could be apprehended at the border each day if Title 42 were well, being lifted. up, up to, be and we'll see what happens. And obviously we're taking steps to convey that this is not the time to come. Uh, individuals who come to the border, this is what would happen. CBP and ICE would work together to ensure that anyone who enters the country without authorization is put into immigration proceedings as quickly as possible. CBP has been working with ICE to ensure individuals awaiting processing in the interior of the country monitor under, would be monitored under the alternatives to detention program. We know that to date, nearly 80 percent of non-citizens waiting in the interior under prosecu prosecutorial discretion have either received a notice to appear or are still within their window to report. That is what would happen. In addition, I would note the Department of Homeland Security also put together a preparedness plan to continue addressing irregular migration that involves surging personnel and resources to the border, improving border processing, implementing mitigation measures, and working with other countries in the hemisphere to manage migration. Those are all steps that they're working to do in order to implement when we get to that point in time. And the last one on this. Now that the Texas governor is saying that he's going to start busing border crossers to Washington, D.C., when they get here, are you guys going to help them find a place to stay and something for them to do? Well, I'm not aware of what authority uh, the governor would be doing that under. I think it's pretty clear this is a publicity stunt. His own uh, office admits that a migrant would need to voluntarily uh, be transported um, and he can't compel them to because, again, enforcement of our country's immigration laws lies with the federal government, well, not a state. Washington, D.C.? Well, listen, I don't know, but I know that the governor of uh, Texas or any state does not have the legal authority to compel anyone to get on a bus. Go ahead.